Okay, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the tech pouch from Peak Design. Now, I was very kindly sent this a month or so ago, and it's been on a couple of our trips. As you can see, it's well used. It's um, it's picked up a little bit of dirt. So it's made from weatherproof 200D nylon canvas. It has weatherproof zips. It says it has an origami style organizer, a folding pocket layout inside. So let's have a quick look at the outside and the build construction. It has various handles on here. So it's got this top handle here. It's got these loops, uh, which you can put the Peak Design anchors on, which I'll be showing you later. And it has, on the, on the bottom here, it has these two little handles here. And I couldn't quite work out what they were for until I pulled the bag out. And you can then slip your hand in like that. So it steadies the bag when you undo it. So let's just go through some of the gear I've got in here to give you an idea of what it can hold. So first of all, we have a GoPro charger and a couple of batteries. Then we have a power bank. Then we have a Logitech mouse, which is, this is really good for location because it's quite small and it fits in there really neatly. What else have we got in here in the big pockets? So I've got a Peak Design um, strap here. You can then use these Peak Design anchors and put them onto these anchor points it's somewhere here. I have another, so that goes on here like this. Don't really need to show you because I'm sure you're fully aware of how this works. And then with this Peak Design strap, which is very handy, use it on a lot of my cameras, it clips on there really neatly. And then you can use that as a sling bag. And that's very strong. What else have we got in here? Okay, so we have a 65 watt wall charger. I have in here my Bose earphones. I have a Anchor a USB hub, a really good hub this one. Um, highly recommend this. And I'm gonna list all of these items in the description below so you can have a little look and a shop if you need to. What else we got? In the middle here, we have some USB sticks, another one there. And then we have a Sony remote in this pocket here. So that's a Sony camera remote. In this pocket here, we have a Peak Design capture clip. In this pocket here, we have a Manfrotto uh, mini tabletop tripod. I use this when we're out and about. This is very handy for um, all, most cameras, actually. I've used it on the X-T4 and on the Sony a7 IV. What else have we got? They're all empty there. That's empty. In these pockets here, which I have a couple of filters in. So these filters are 52 mils. That's a Black Pro Mist, I believe. And I've got a VND filter in here. Yeah, I think you could probably fit up to maybe a 72 mil thread filter in each of those. The only other pockets I've got full of stuff at the moment are these ones. So in the middle of this one, I have a Samsung T5 SSD drive. In here, I have another little mini tripod, but this one is for um, phones. So that folds out really neatly. What else have we got? Oh, we've got another filter over here. So this is a black diffusion um, one eighth filter, 52 mil. And that is it for the inside pockets. So I've actually just noticed that there is a pen pocket or somewhere you can actually put a pen on this side. That's very handy for Apple pencils. Is there one on the other side? Oh, there's a couple on the other side. Inside and the pockets, we're looking at a nice deep pocket here and we have these little, call them little sort of filter pouches and that's what I've been using them for. My 52 mil filters go in here easily and that Samsung T5 drive goes in there really easily also. Then you've got these pockets. And in the middle here, you've got the, as I said before, the 72 mil or roughly 72 mil thread um, filter pockets. Then you've got quite a deep pocket in the middle that goes all the way down to the bottom. And then you have a zipper pocket here, which has some SD card pockets inside. So you've got one, two, three, four SD card slots in there. And then you can fit other bits and bobs in there as you wish. And then the same on this side, you've got these um, little filter pockets or just little drop pockets that you can fit little bits in. So it's really robust, it's really well made, and it's a really strong bag. So if we just zip this up, there is a pocket on the outside here, and I have various cables in here, various chargers, right angle USB-C cables, uh, a short USB-C to USB-C cable, uh, the original braided Apple cable, I have a little puck charger for my watch and that is it for that pocket. So that's quite deep also, if you can see in there, and that has weather sealing on that zip. It's incredibly well made with these weather sealed zips, etc. And yeah, it's been in my bag for the last month, as I said, and I'm definitely gonna carry on using this until something supersedes it, which I'd find highly unlikely because how can you make a bag better than this? I have a link for Peak Design Kit 
down below and I will also link it at the top here. Uh, there'll be a link to my Amazon store where you can buy all of these little bits of kit that have come out of this bag today. Also, let me know what you've been using as a cable management system for your everyday carries. So that is it for today's video. If you have any questions about this bag or any of this gear, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them where possible. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, look out for more future videos, um, gear related videos. I've been sent a whole load more um, Peak Design kit that I'm planning on reviewing soon. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.